hey guys thanks for clicking my video in this video i'll be sharing few important topics in the transforms and partial differential equation paper so here the first unit is partial differential equation uh, the first important topic that you should know is type sums there are four types type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 the first type is of the form f of p comma q equal to 0 if there are only two variables p and q then it is the first type so below uh, i have given an example pq plus p equal to q equal to 1 if the question is in this format then it is a type 1 sum next type 2 z is equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q this is uh, known as a chlorates form so it's a very important uh, type you can expect question from this type so the example is z equal to px plus qy plus square root of 1 plus p square plus q square so root of 1 plus p square plus q square is the function next type 3 if f if the question is of the form f of z comma p comma q equal to 0 then it is a type 3 sum type 4 f of x comma p equal to g of y comma q here the example is p square minus x square is equal to y square minus q square these are the types and so make sure you know this topic and the next important topic is homogeneous and non-homogeneous pde in every question paper there is a question from this topic so please do learn this question homogeneous homogeneous example is d square plus 3 d d dash minus 4 d dash square the degree of the equation degree is 2 in non-homogeneous if you see the example d square minus 3 d d dash where the degree is 2 plus 2 d dash square degree is 2 plus 2 d the degree is 1 so it is not the same so non-homogeneous it is not same and homogeneous is same okay and the unit 2 unit 2 is Fourier series one of the important topic in this chapter is half range sine series and cosine series it's really very very easy so first one is half range sine series in half range sine series the value of a naught and a n will be zero and only b n is there so b n formula b n is equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x by l into dx here the limit is 0 to l next topic the next formula is for half range cosine series in the half range cosine series the value of b n will be 0 ok in sine series a n and a naught will be 0 in cosine series b n will be 0 so the formula is for a naught and a n in cosine series a naught is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into dx here the limit is from 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to pi and the formula for a n is a n equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x cos n x into dx next important topic is complex form of the Fourier series so here you have to remember only four formulae I have mentioned two and uh, it's very easy so f of x the first formula f of x is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e to the power of i n pi x by l you need first you need to find f of x that's the ultimate aim okay but you need to find cn so cn is equal to 1 by 2 l integral minus l to l f of x e to the power of minus i n pi x by l into dx and this is the formula f of x will be provided so just substitute in it and integrate it so that you will get cn and substitute the value of cn in the above f of x and the final answer is that's it so this is for the limit minus l to l if your limit is from minus pi to pi then the formula will be f of x is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e to the power of i n x where cn is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus l to l f of x e to the power of minus i n x into dx 
there is no difference just substitute pi instead of l that's it the next important the most important topic in this chapter is the harmonic analysis you have at least a question in each and every paper f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus a1 cos pi x by l plus b1 sin pi x by l plus a2 cos 2 pi x by l plus b2 sin 2 pi x by l this is the formula you need to find a naught a1 b1 a2 b2 value so the below formula is used to determine those yeah guys check the description box for some more topics and thanks for watching